and put in uh, what they call a turnbuckle. Once we get the two sides fastened, we'll put this piece in, which will adjust our tension on the sail, get this thing nice and taut. So once this thing's set up, it'll create a great shade structure along with their shade screens for the people out here enjoying the deck. Ahmed heads over to the farm area to check on the progress of the veggie beds. Fabulous. What is that wood? Old this oak? This is reclaimed cedar. It actually comes from a golf course. It was the decking at a golf course. Nice. That's what all these dings are yeah. from, golf cleats. Wow, that is really good. I like it. Bring back some dirt. Dirt. Thank you. God, everything's looking so good. I was wondering about Will, because I thought I had some kid out here doing something. Will is pretty fabulous. He runs a good crew. On his way out, Ahmed gives a couple of the other members of Team 2 a pep talk. I just want you guys to know it's going to be showtime pretty soon here. And you're going to need to be cute. All right? Shake your booty a little bit. Shake your tail feathers. You hear me? With less than 90 minutes left in this turf war, Ahmed checks out the progress in Team One's yard. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. Close, man. Nobody wants to see your nipples. I got concrete all over. Close, man. John is way behind on the barbecue grill, but his spirits are still up. And I kind of looked over there, so they're not going to finish either. <laughs> and our stove looks better. Ahmed is not so sure. You guys are doing OK. OK is not going to win 10 grand. OK has never won 10 grand. All right. Coming up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Chaos as the clock ticks down. Where's that lighter? Where's the lighter? And later, who will take the Turf War title? And the winner is... Less than 60 minutes left in day two of this turf war. In just one hour, a random group of neighborhood judges will decide which backyard makeover will win the $10,000 grand prize. Nobody's giving direction to the people that aren't busy. Just so you know. Just so you know. Team one makes progress. They hang the Chicago painting, place the bright red fire hydrant into the garden, and attach the never give up art piece inside the fire water feature. Thank you so much. This is so beautiful. Never give up. We're going to win this. John's biggest problem now, the barbecue, which is not in a judge-friendly state. What does that do? Uh, it's concrete iron, so it's going to help me cream this up a little bit more. Rub-a-dub-dub. Over the fence, it's a mad rush to the finish. Come on. But Ahmed keeps busy with some work of his own. That's dangerous! <laughs> Ten minutes left, and both teams are in trouble. Hose in their hand, now! Team one still needs to hose down the yard, and the barbecue is still not done. Seven minutes, we're getting off this. You two, nobody else, you two only on this. Get the rocks, try to get the rocks. Okay, Kurt, you hear that, guys? Hey, hey, we need a crescent wrench right now, fast as humanly possible. Crescent, yes, fast as you can possibly go. As the clock ticks down, the grill still isn't installed, and the crew scrambles to install the special building material. Can we pull the stuff off the front of the barbecue? Oh, oh wait, is it painted? Yeah. Is that that thing painted? Yes, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of all that paper. And then things go from bad to worse. Is that gonna fit with the, that's not gonna fit, is it? How about, how far off are we? Can we go under, like tilt and go up? Sawzall. Sawzall! As workers lift the grill in place, John frantically tries to saw open room for the fridge and then another setback. Oh, f The power for the saw dies. It doesn't have power. That needs power immediately. No, 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 no. I need it plugged in. It's on the split. Hurry, hurry, hurry. OK, we got it. We got it. Where's that lighter? Where's the lighter? One minute and 18 seconds, guys. Don't hate on me. Just get your job done. With a minute to spare, team one gets the fridge to fit and finishes the barbecue area. We rip everything out, and then everybody leaves. But Team 2 has problems of its own. Oh, right, pipe right here to so get out of the ground. Oh, cut it. Give me a cutter, Steve. Do this again. You got 56 seconds to cut a piece of pipe with a Leatherman, Dave. Good luck. Use the file. Oh, oh, baby, I'm going to do it. I got 51 seconds. 20 seconds. 19, 18, 17, 
Who's at the other end of the water hose? Because when it's time to go, it's time to go. And if you leave a hose stretched out in your yard, then there it will be. I got Nine, it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. It was nice seeing you guys. Exit the yard, please. You're the last one here. It was nice. We don't give up. It's not in our nature. And um, we didn't. Overall, it was a lot of fun. Win or lose, we built something awesome together. Earlier, Ahmed recruited this panel of random neighborhood judges. They'll crown the winning team based on the turf war criteria. First up, team two. You're going to walk into the Mahaffey Farm. Oh my goodness gracious. They had uh, not anything special to talk about for their backyard. It's, it's pretty special right now. We just created ourselves a little farm in the backyard with the help of Will Selinski and Donna Dawson over here. You're going to see the barn, which houses our new chickens. We've got a chicken coop, a chicken run for the kids to get in with the chickens. We have a whole planting area with boxes. This yard was clearly a blank slate, all flat. We wanted to give it some dimension. We dropped it down, gave them a fire pit with these huge boulders for wonderful conversation area. We want to create a space that they can really enjoy and have this um, urban farm because they're really into reclaiming stuff and repurposing and growing their own food. And we're going to have eggs now that they can eat on their own using the manure for compost. We've got a compost bin back in there that we made from reclaimed cedar, as well as these planter boxes. We've got a beautiful potting shed that was made with the top of this granite. That, uh, that's our secret building material. We're so excited to be able to use it there. We've got this kind of tranquility deck up here with these beautiful screens. But one of my favorite spots in this whole yard is the, the play area for the girls. Well, first of all, it's very inviting. You know, it's hard to believe that you're right smack dab in the middle of suburbia. You know, it, it really feels like a farm. I love this deck, and I love the succulent art. The judges love the layout of the yard. I wasn't expecting a farm, for one thing, uh, but the way it's set up, it's, uh, it's quite unique. But the livestock got mixed reviews. If it was my yard, I, I you know, wouldn't have a chicken coop. Next up, Team one. Our backyard has got a great theme. It's related to my job. I work for the fire department. I've worked for the fire department just about my whole life. We never knew that a design like this could happen. They love to entertain a lot. They got lots of family, lots of friends. So we want to use every piece of this yard for entertaining. This painting? This was done here by, by, by Teresa. Oh, right. She was our artist. Two days? She painted that and that was... No, she did it one day. She, yeah, she did it one day. We have our dining space area. We also made this fountain here which has a secret building material in it, one of four, and I do dare you to find all four because they're scattered all over. We gave them a little swing arbor in the back, which overlooks our putting green, which is kind of like the fun space area. This is our outdoor kitchen. Uh, Mike loves to cook. He also makes his own smokers, and so we've got one in the back, which is, of course, fire engine red. What else? And then the, the focal point of the yard, which is our, it's a fire and water feature. They never give up. We wouldn't be here today if less we had this right here. I've had really close friends that died on the job. This means more than you guys can ever imagine. Imagine a family member dying. That's what this means to me. Every time we walk out, we'll always remember. I like to never give up. Um, I just, I, it says it everything, you know, there's nothing more you need to say. It's, it's like open. It's so open. I like the fake grass. I love the barbecue. I love, love, love the, the fire and water picture here. I think that's probably going to be my favorite. The judges gave high marks for the personal inspiration of the design. The only thing I can say about this yard is there's so much full, there's so much love here. Um, it's unbelievable. But they weren't so sure about all of the Team One's uses of the wild card item. Well, I just asked about the special marble, if that was a finished look that they wanted. I thought that that could have been maybe cleaned up a little bit better. Coming up, the verdict is in. Open it. Why are you stressing, man? I'm not very stressing. Who will take the Turf War title and the 10K? Team One or Team Two? Find out next. Two days ago, Aaron and Daniel Mahaffey took on their neighbors Mike and Tina Ramirez in a turf war. General contractor Will Selinski gave the Mahaffeys an urban farm with a chicken coop, 
vegetable boxes, a water feature, and a large play area for the kids. Once a drab and lifeless yard with no amenities or shade, the Mahaffey's now have a vibrant space with a raised deck, a barbecue, and a beautiful swing for their four little girls. Three words, I love it. I love it, it's everything that I wanted. For Mike and Tina Ramirez, contractor John Rower created a yard straight from the heart. Making perfect use of the space, he built an oasis in the suburbs, including a professional putting green and a fire water feature with the Ramirez motto, never give up, prominently displayed. Once a neglected, boring, and undeveloped yard, it's now a showcase space with a love seat swing, a colorful garden, and a dream kitchen. It's everything we ever wanted. It, it, it's a reflection on us, upon our life, upon the fire department, our family. Um, we could never imagine something like this could come together in two days. A panel of neighborhood judges toured each yard and evaluated them on the turf work criteria. And now the results are in. And the winner is, I got a little arrow. <laughs> Tells me if I open this up, the people over here Open it. get to know who the winner is. Why are you stressing, man? I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Huh? I'm very excited. Why are you, you stressing? Come on, come on, come on. It's either celebration, oh, elation, oh, or oh, contemplation. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, right. And the winner is. Final tally, 174 to 150. Team one wins by 24 points. You folks over here on, on Ramirez team, go check out the Funky Fresh Yard. You guys, go see what these guys did because this time they got you in a turf war. One, two, three. Never give up.